don't have a baby. It's just a burrito. Gosh. Hey guys, it's Sharon. uploading this video very close to my birthday and I am turning 22 which means basically every year from now on there's nothing to look forward to I guess until like age 25 when I can legally run a car but after that you know 21 is like as fun as it gets but that is not my point so I was thinking okay what is a cool birthday video that I can make that isn't exactly a birthday video by the way my birthday is June 2nd and if I upload this on time my birthday should technically be tomorrow but you could be watching this in the future so fun fact yes your girl is a Gemini but anyways I was like okay you know what what if I read people's assumptions about me and I say if they're right or not? So I asked you guys on Instagram, okay, send me your assumptions and I'm gonna see if they're true. So if you do wanna view my videos just like this, definitely give us a thumbs up and follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter so you can have a chance to be in them and potentially maybe expose me. I don't know. But anyways, if you do wanna see more, definitely subscribe for more. But enough about that, I'm ready to expose myself for once. And honestly, there were so many assumptions, like so many good ones that I just couldn't pass up. So let's see how quickly I can answer as many of these assumptions as possible. Sharon's just spilling her tea for her own birthday. Wow. You were like the most confident girl in high school. No, I wasn't that confident. Not as much as I am now. Not nearly as much. <laughs> you have high standards, and if a guy is below that, or a Joey, you drop him. 110%. I don't have time to deal with guys that are jerks, and I don't have time to have low standards for myself. And no one should have low standards for themselves. You should never settle for less, baby, and that's the tea. You're mean in real life. I definitely do not think so, and <laughs> I'm saying that as unbiased as possible. For the few that have met me, please tell me if I'm mean in real life. You dropped out of college. Oh, hold up, sis. Be right back. This girl is a college graduate, and I graduated a year early, so a thank you. Technically, it was university, but uh, still, your girl's educated. <laughs> you were bullied a lot because of your outgoing personality. That is such a weird reason to bully someone, but no, I was not bullied for that. I was bullied for being fat. You are the type of friend that acts totally different in front of her crush. No, baby. Who I am is exactly what you'll get. I feel like you don't actually like most of the content you make, but you make it anyways because of your subscribers. I mean, I think the only content Content that's not my favorite to make is a tax prank, but I feel like I'm very open about that. You are really nice even to people you don't like. Yes and no. I am really nice, but not nice to people I don't like, but I'm also not mean to people I don't like. I'm just civil. But if I don't like you, trust me, you'll know. You're a stoner. Far from it. I assume that when you read period horror stories, you're on yours. I get this a lot, and honestly, no. Crazy, isn't it? You're rich. I know I'm right. You're not, because I'm not, but I wish you were right. You were a cheerleader in high school. School. Oh, no, no, no. Never thought about being a cheerleader. And honestly, I remember when I was like seven years old, my mom took me to go be on a cheerleading squad and I cried because I didn't want to be there. So no. But you have a secret boyfriend. You know, I got this one a lot and y'all, I really wish I did, but I don't. That you are not a homebody. No, I think I am. I mean, I do love traveling a lot and I hate when I have to be home and I can't travel, but my friends will tell you that I'm a homebody because every time they invite me to go out, I'm like, nah. You were spoiled as a child. 110%, no shame. I'm my dad's only daughter. I have a half brother through my mom, so being daddy's only little girl. Ooh, you were popular in high school. I don't think so. I wasn't like unpopular, but I wasn't popular either. My high school was very interesting. We had cliques only because we had majors. So that being said, I don't think there really were popular kids. You secretly want to quit YouTube to travel the world and become a model. As much as I would love to model and travel the world, I would probably still do YouTube at the same time. So no, I don't want to quit YouTube, but I do want to travel and model. That would be fun. You have high standards when it comes to the content you release. Low standards are no fun and you should never settle for less. So I do have high standards for the people I date and for the content I make. That you're pregnant but are hiding it. Sweetheart, how can I be pregnant if there isn't someone in the picture? I don't have a baby. It's just a burrito. Gosh. You like pineapple on pizza. Yes, I do. Pineapple does belong on pizza. And if you say no, your taste buds are broken. You live alone. I do not. I live with my parents and my dog, Fluffy. As long as I get to live at home rent free, you girl ain't leaving in this place. You're probably the kind of person who is low-key gay. High-key no. You are secretly desperate to get married. I wouldn't say desperate. Do I want to get married? Yes. Am I desperate? No. Your girl is only technically about to be 22. So no. That you smell like beef. No. Gosh. You send the stories in yourself. Yeah, no. Every story I read is from you guys. I've never read one of my own stories unless I said, by the way, this is my own story. And guys, I get thousands of freaking 
in stories. You're the type to spoil the show by mistake and say, you have to watch it. Not at all. Every time I talk about like a movie or a show or something, I'll be like, do you want me to spoil it? I'll always ask for permission before I spoil it. And if you say no, I won't spoil it, obviously. You only do YouTube for the money. Guys, YouTubers do not make as much as you think they do. You know how there's like billionaires in the world and that top 1% of really rich people? That like top 1% is on YouTube too. I'm like maybe YouTube like lower middle class if anything. So no, no, no. You lost your love for YouTube. If I lost my love for YouTube, I would not upload twice a week and I would not upload in general. You're really picky. Yes, I'm so picky. It's ridiculous. You can just call me like a cactus over how picky I am. Or is that prickly? You're a brat. When I was younger, probably more. So yes and no, but I don't think I am now. That you are an amazing singer. Honey, I wish I was. You don't want nor have tattoos. I don't have tattoos. That is true, but I actually do want a tattoo. I want a black star on my ankle. You're really tall. I have gotten that, oh my gosh, you're a lot taller than I thought you were from like meeting you guys in person. But I mean, I'm like five, five and a half. Technically, I just say five, six, because it's a lot easier to say than five, five and a half. But I don't think that's tall. But then some people think it's really tall. So up for debate. You drink. Well, I am over 21 and that is the legal drinking age in my country. So cheers. You got amazing grades in school. I mean, like not to toot my own horn, but like your girl was a nerd. I think I only got a C maybe like twice in my life. And I'll never forget one was geometry and the other was economics. Math and I, we don't do that well together. That you're a bad Yes, I am, baby, and so are you. So is everyone watching this, and that's on that. You think you're perfect. No, I actually don't think perfection exists. Nobody's perfect. Wise words once said by the great Hannah Montana. That you experimented with girls. I never did, so no. You're chill and kind of a germaphobe. Guys, I am such a germaphobe, and like, here's my thing. I'm going off on a rant a bit right here, so I always carry hand sanitizer with me, and ever since this little virus thing going on, everyone's been buying up all the hand sanitizer, and I'm like, y'all, I need hand sanitizer, okay? I've been using it this whole time. So I don't know where you newbies came from, but stop hogging all the hand sanitizer. So yep, I really am. You have multiple boys. Honey, I don't even have one boy. You want to stop making text pranking videos. Yeah, but I feel like you guys already kind of knew that. Guys, I'm about to be 22. Oh my God, was I 17 or 18? Either way, that was like four or five years ago. People change and evolve and so does their content. You're probably the mom of the friend group. Yeah, definitely mom. You don't want kids. No, I definitely want kids. Just not anytime soon. You hate editing, but love filming. I don't hate editing and I don't hate filming. There are some days when I prefer filming more than editing and there are some days when I prefer editing more than filming. It really just depends what kind of a video. You have a list of your favorite baby names on your phone. No, I do not because I'm not planning a kid anytime soon, so I'm not planning their names. You cheated on one of your boyfriends before. I have never cheated. If I met someone else that I liked while I was seeing someone, I, without hesitation, would break up with that person and be like, hey, listen, this is what happened and we should not be together anymore because I don't want to be cheated on so I don't cheat. You don't have a job that isn't YouTube. Actually, I do. I work in radio and I used to be on the radio but then that didn't work out with my YouTube schedule so now I just do like promotions. But I do have a job outside of this so I can leave my house and not just stay in my room filming YouTube videos. You are not into horror stuff. Here's the thing about me. Technically, yes I am. I love crime and murder mysteries and all that stuff but I do not like scary movies because they are full of jump scares and I think jump scares scares are cheap. If you are gonna scare me and you're gonna make things horror-y, then hit me where it really hurts. Don't give me a jump scare. I love haunted houses and Halloween is literally my favorite holiday ever. So yes and no. You have gotten in a lot of fights in your life. Like physical fights? I have never been in a physical fight in my life and I don't think I want to. You know, I don't got time for that. That you aren't much of an outdoors person. I think this depends. I live in Florida and usually outdoors in Florida involves a lot of mosquitoes and currently love bugs. Bugs, you know, doesn't sound that nice. So I guess it depends on the season. You are obsessed with the Jonas Brothers. Is this an assumption or a fact? You're very nice towards fans, but if someone is rude to you, you are rude back. Oh, duh. Treat me the way you want to be treated. So however you treat me, that is exactly how I will treat you. Get a taste of your own medicine, sis. You want to dye your hair? Yes and no. Only just on the ends and the tips. I don't think I would ever dye like my whole head just because like I'm very scared to damage my hair. So I don't know. You often reject guys. Sadly, yeah, and this goes back to me being very picky and having, you know, those standards
standards, so never settle. But you're a sweetheart, but when someone tries to test you, you'll kill them. Maybe not kill them, but um, yeah, this person's not entirely wrong. I wouldn't commit a murder, but still. You were in a relationship with a YouTuber, never an official relationship, like maybe like a talking stage with one, but look where that ended. <laughs> you're a virgin, just want to see the tea spilt. That is too much tea. You're very strong-minded and you are set in your ways. Is this a nice way to call me stubborn? Because yes, but I'm also very open-minded, so it depends what matter I'm being stubborn on. You have no friends in real life. No, I, I have friends. I do have friends, thank you. Do I have a small circle of close friends? Yes, but they are indeed real, guys. You have plastic surgery. I've never really thought about getting plastic surgery, so no, I do not have any. You're doing YouTube because it's easier than getting a job. I mean, technically, yeah, because I'm my own boss. No one is telling me what to do. Not that it's easier than getting a job, but it's just so much better. <laughs> You're not as open in real life as you are on camera. I think I am, yeah? You save all the secrets we gave you in a journal. Oh, absolutely not. I'm not sitting there and writing down thousands and thousands of secrets. Nobody is time for that, and I would be left without a hand. You're not as active as you say you are. Like on social media or like physically, because listen sis, this is the first time in my life I have been working out for three months straight, so don't come for me right now, because this is a proud moment, okay? You're the kind of person who went to a lot of parties in college, but was down to earth. You know, I never went to one college party. My whole three years of being in university, having frat houses near me, I never went to one party. Maybe I should crash a college party soon. You know, after this whole virus thing is over, yep. You have extensions. I don't. My hair is just this long. <laughs> I feel like you're a stripper. No offense. I'm not, but okay. You're a hot Cheeto gal. I'm not. I think I'd prefer Takis over hot Cheetos. Not sponsored. But you're actually very shy off camera. Nope. I think I'm just as outgoing, just as loud, just as obnoxious. I don't think I've ever really been shy. You have a secret boyfriend and don't want to tell anyone about it because you were dating a celebrity. As much as I really, really wish this was true and this was the reason why I didn't have a secret boyfriend, the real reason is no, I just don't have one in general. You get in a lot of drama. I think the opposite. I get in not a lot of drama. <laughs> wow, you really get carried away reading people's assumptions about you, huh? Well, I'm very curious to hear more, so you know what? If you guys enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and comment down at your assumption about me and I will tell you if it's true or not in the comments. I'm very, very curious. Also, if you submitted one of these and you were right, let me know. How well do you guys think you know me? Hmm. Anyways, shout of the week goes to Hannah. Thank you so, so much. If you do want to be shout of the week, just follow me on my Instagram and stay active. And of course, if you want to see more videos, I have a bunch more on my channel that you can binge and I technically do have another video that is a lot like this. I don't usually spill my tea that often, but that is another video where I spilled my tea if you do want to see that. So every once in a blue moon, I will expose myself on the internet, just on special occasion, like my birthday. Anyways, if you guys do want to see more, Delphi, subscribe for more. And all that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.